Hey, what's up, guys? Today we're going to learn about how to play the English, or as the cool kids somewhat, sometimes call it, like Wolf Hudapol, the Egosh. But before we get into it, don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more great opening videos. So, against the English, we're going to start with Knight F6. The idea being, we could go E6, but then we have to worry about E4. So here, we're going to go Knight F6 first. Um, and now, if D4, we just go E6, we have a normal Benoni or Nimzo, and... Generally, you're going to see white just go knight f3. Now, e6, g3 is the most common line, and now d5. Now, after bishop g2, if take on d5, we're just going to have a very nice position. Move our bishop d6. We can castle kingside or even look at castling queenside. But here, there's really no issue in this position. So here, generally, you're going to see them keep the pressure on d5 and just go bishop d2. So here, we're going to take on c4. <clears throat> so now, there's two ways to play, either queen a4 check, or castle. So queen a4 check, um, basically white wants to get his pawn back. We go c6, take on c4, and now b5. So even though it looks like we're making some weaknesses, um, we're going to be able to solidify this side over here, and then we're just going to have an advantage, because we're going to have more more space with these pawns. So here, generally, white's going to go back to c2 or b3. Queen t2, we just go bishop b7, knight t7. If a4, a6, knight c3, and now rook c8, and we're going to get ready to castle kingside. So bishop e7, castle, and then we're going to have a lot of play on this queen side because of our pawns. So instead of queen c2, white can also go queen b3. Now here we go, bishop b7 once again, and kind of the same idea as you saw before. And here, the idea being we have bishop d5 as an in-between move. He moves away, and now we can take here. And after take, take, we command this long diagonal. If we move like knight c3, we just go back. So, um, Keeping all the pressure, we're just going to castle, and then we're going to have a lot of play with this open position that favors our bishops. <clears throat> so that's how you're going to play if they try to take back their pawn with queen a4 check. But instead, you'll see sometimes people at castle. So castle, now we're going to try to hold on to this pawn. We're going to go a6. So a6, if queen a4 check now, it wouldn't make sense because we have b5. Queen goes back to c2, we go bishop b7, and now we have everything we want in this position. So instead, white will probably go a4 to stop b5 or queen c2. So a4, here we're going to go knight c6. And after queen c2, we're going to go knight a5, holding on to this pawn. If knight a3, here we can we can even take on a3. That's definitely an option. Or <coughs> we can play queen d5. Moving our queen into this diagonal, but here this, this discover attack is overrated. This knight doesn't really have anywhere good to go. Um, so here, let's say, for example, knight h4, we go queen d4, knight here, and we can go queen c5. We're going to solidify this position, and we don't have to worry too much about our king here, because none of white's pieces are in attacking positions. So your king has a lot of time to kind of just get safe, so here we want to focus on keeping this pawn and keeping this queen side um, intact. So that's how you would play if um, queen c2. Now instead, or after a4, now here, if queen c2 first, now we're going to go either bishop b7 or probably most likely b5. Um, here it looks like we're opening up this diagonal, but here after knight e5, we can just go rook a7 or kind of what I prefer, c6. And if knight takes, we just go queen c7, and now this knight doesn't really have any good discover attacks. For example, like here or here, we just go bishop b7. Now we're going to own this diagonal, <clears throat> and we're going to be just fine. And if knight a5 here, we can go in between move knight d5. He's got to take care of this knight, and then we can go bishop b7. And we've got everything we wanted in this position. Um, now instead, after c6, if he goes b3, here we have that in-between move queen c7. Um, kind of holding onto this pawn, so now we can take here, because this is going to be supported. Once this knight moves, we're going to go like this. After knight f3, now we can just take, take, kingside, or not kingside castle, sorry, bishop b7. Um, we can wait a little bit because once again our king isn't in attack and here actually this trade over here is kind of good for us. We have the bishop pair, this, our king is still pretty solid and we would be very happy in this position. So remember the big, the big ideas are d5, um, take on c4 if queen a4 check, we're going to go c6 and get play on the queen side with b5. And if he just castles, we're going to try to hold on to this pawn. And once again, just always really try to get play on this queen side. That's the best way to play against the English in this um, 
variation. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Video. Make sure to check out wolfchess.org for great lessons, videos, and puzzles. And hope you guys were entertained.